want justice. Nancy Grace, legal news, her views. Every night at 8 and 10 Eastern. HLN. You know that moment when you look into somebody's eyes and the whole world goes quiet? Yes. Right, well, I don't. You have set up a way of life that basically makes it impossible for you to have any kind of human connection. Leave the money on the dresser. <laughs> From the director of Juno. We never got married. We never even tried. Define try. George Clooney. But the first time in my life, I don't want to be that guy alone at a bar. Up in the air. Where did R? Now on demand. Order this movie now in crystal clear HD with Fios On Demand. Now available on demand. Are you boys behaving? Enchanté. Mademoiselle. <laughs> What was that? I'm trying to get pretty girls to do my homework. They're bringing cool to school. Somebody's gonna have to knock those guys down to size. Oh, it is on like Donkey Kong. Oh. But they've got some competition. <laughs> Alvin and the Chipmunks, the Squeakwall. Order this movie now in crystal clear HD with Fios On Demand. Forty years after John Lennon's We're Bigger Than Jesus statement, the Vatican has forgiven the Beatles. But former Beatle Ringo Starr, see, he thinks the church might have its priorities misplaced. Listen. Didn't they say, the Vatican say we were satanic? <laughs> Possibly satanic and they still forgive us. I think the Vatican should, uh, I think they've got more to talk about than the Beatles. I want to hold your hands, very satanic. Why is the church forgiving them 40 years later? Hey, I still haven't forgiven Maria Senzagula for making fun of my Bermuda shorts, and that was 51 years ago, okay? <laughs> Joining me to talk about this and other stories are actor Cheech Marin, entertainment journalist Paula Froelich, and comedian Carrie Riley. Okay, does Ringo have a point, you guys? Uh, shouldn't the Vatican have more on its mind right now than uh, the Beatles? Where is this coming from? I think they've cast all their stones and they want them back. <laughs> like, they're, they realize, oh my gosh, like, you know, we got our own problems. We shouldn't have judged, um, you know, maybe everybody could not judge us so much. The Vatican? Really? Yeah, uh -huh. I do. I so think... it's a mea culpa sort of thing? Yeah. Oh, stop. Yes, it's it PR is. PR and marketing 101. Oh. <laughs> look over there, shiny object. Don't look at me while I've got my hands down some young boy's pants. Stop. Stop. <laughs> you know, it's it's unbelievable. What do you think, Change? Well, the, the Biff Rose, a famous comedian, who said that the Catholic Church prepares you for anything that can happen here in the 12th century. <laughs> and I'm pretty much... Uh, <laughs> the Vatican today. said this. I'll read it to you what he said in its official newspaper. It's, uh, it's true they took drugs, lived life to excess because of their success, even said they were bigger than Jesus and put out mysterious messages that were possibly even satanic. Does but, that mean we're all forgiven? But yeah, would pop, <laughs> oh, this is the part that's, that's sweet. But would pop music have been, what would pop music have been like without the Beatles? Now, what is the most, first of all, what's the most satanic message? What are they talking about? Well, because you could play their records backward, and they, and they were like, that? I love Satan. Who plays love a Satan. record backwards? Who's got the time for that? And you can play <laughs> anything backwards, and there's all jarble and nonsense. Well, I don't know. I watched a couple of his movies in high school, and yeah, it's all played backwards. everything backwards. 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 Oh, you know, Cheech, yes, the, uh, in the 90s, <clears throat> the Vatican claimed the music of Pink Floyd, Queen, Black Sabbath, and the Eagles contained subliminal satanic influences. Now, you're a Catholic, right? Yeah, I was, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, you know more, you're no, elapsed? No, I'm elapsed, yeah. But, I mean, they say it like it's a bad thing. You know? I mean, like, <laughs> the, come on. Well, do you, does Satan, Satan speak to you through uh, the Eagles? No, no, I'm not, in, I'm, not in, <laughs> I'm not on his Facebook, so, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't contact me. Do you anyway. believe in Satan at all? No, I don't. Oh, I do. I don't. You believe in 100%. Satan? 100%. Have you, you met my ex? No, I haven't actually. And you should be my and then you would. Well, you know, I think that it's, it's when you start bringing up Jesus, I, I don't care what you talk about with religion, but when you bring up the Holy Son, then heads fly and people get angry. Mm. And I think that's the problem. When you make it personal and you talk about the Messiah, then people get mad and they start. John Lennon angry. saying yeah, that when we're he more said popular that. than Jesus. Yeah. Well, I mean, first of all, Jesus was not around during this media yeah, yeah. age. And he, he was really yeah. referring to the times, I think. Jesus I don't know. is always Who cares? around. He was high at really, the time. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I know. It is wrong of him. I guess, you know what? To let's just that. look at the it timing. Is. It's it ridiculous is wrong. timing. It's, it's dis it was disrespectful. But, you know, John Lennon was very uh, audacious and would mm. say. Now, the Vatican did not forgive the other bands. What about ABBA? 
Is anyone going to forgive Abba for making that movie Mamma Mia? No. You know what? Come that lady, to that that lady was a you. dirty, dirty slut, had sex with three men on three same nights, and let me tell you, didn't know who her baby daddy was. Oh, yeah. All right, let's move on. Right. The latest celebrity trend, this, I love this, seems to be letting it all hang out, sometimes literally. Stars like Jessica Simpson and Britney Spears are the latest to be photographed without the aid of Photoshop or photo retouching. Okay, Allure magazine. I wish I was that modest. I'm still want to, you know, retouch headshot yeah. from 25 years ago. <laughs> but Allure magazine has been expressing this general trend of natural beauty, a new form of look at me in the buff. Let's look at some of these pictures. American Idol judge Cara okay. Diaguardi is posing in the buff. Look at her. Did you see yeah. that? It's Stop. ridiculous. Okay, okay. Uh, Entourage star Emmanuel Shikri. Yeah. Uh -huh. We had to cover her Notice up. Notice they don't have Gabby Sidibe posing in the buff. Like, <laughs> every single person posing yeah, in the buff skin. is like... You're starting to frighten me, Paula. Every single person <laughs> posing in the buff is, like, super hot naturally, and they're like, look mm -hmm. at me, I'm not wearing makeup, and you're like, oh, such a shame. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not... You want to see a couple yes. more? Wait, yeah, let's see. Uh, yeah. uh, he likes it. She's like, yeah, bring them on, baby. Mm. Uh, uh, actress Ka uh, Jessica Capshaw from Grey's Anatomy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Isn't that Steven Spielberg's... Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Right. And scary movie actress Regina Hall. Right. That's her. Right. All right. Okay, those are untouched, unretouched, yeah. and unphotoshopped. Yeah, but by the way, it. what they're not saying is they touch yeah, them. Touch yeah, but they don't have like bad lighting. They're all in like uh, they're all in like Barbara Streisand lighting. Well, <laughs> I mean, I can look, true. I can look like an angel in Barbara Streisand that lighting. Is, that's right. That's, that's true. true. But you know what? I don't want to see people like that. That you get paid a lot of money to be amazing to look natural. I'm mm. not interested in natural. And by the way, I look at myself every day. I don't need it. The I want to yeah. see the beauty the of only someone else. Who did it right was Jamie Lee Curtis yes. in Moore like eight years ago because when she was she like, showed... I got cellulite, I yeah. got fat. Oh, thighs, you don't think she whatever. regrets that? I have to call her. She, no. uh, she must be like, what I know, was but I she's thinking? the only one who was honest about it. She did it in oh, like swimsuit oh, changing on. room lighting. She, who cares? She's married to uh, Chris Guest, right? What's his name? Yeah, Chris I think Guest. So who cares what you do? Well, it's not just about your husband, Karen. Oh, I mean, it isn't? There are the millions who are watching you. The thing who like still wants trading places and cry. I know. No. Yeah. You know, these girls are in their 30s and 40s now, and they're sort of, <clears throat> I think that they're saying, and you can tell me how you feel about this, look at how I really look. Don't read the magazines and think, think that those are the true bodies. There are blemishes, there's cellulite, and this is the way we look. Okay, here's is, a, isn't that sort of altruistic, Carrie? Here's the problem with that. Can we, can we go the back reason, to that entourage oh, chick? <laughs> the, the yeah. Yeah. Not to mention, like, Jessica Simpson's on the cover of the magazine with makeup on. It's nude makeup. No, she doesn't have makeup on. She said she didn't. Five girls, bucks. Girls. She said honey, she did it. Honey, honey I've been doing this for nine and a half years. I'm so telling let's you I say, There makeup. she is. There she yeah. is. There's Jessica. That's yeah. not the cover. She looks beaten down, first of all. Yeah. Why do you have to have not makeup on okay. and look like you just got beat? All right, let's look at that. Could I have control over here, please? Excuse me. Um, <laughs> Excuse me, I feel like I have my class over here. I have to control you. Let's look for one thing, just one more thing on this. Britney Spears has been getting into the act. Now, she released pre-airbrushed and then uh, an image is from a shoot for candies or something, yeah. those mm -hmm. shoe company. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then she showed you the uh, unairbrushed first and then the airbrushed. And you can see, if you can possibly see that, that there are mar marks on her body. She has a little more fat than they they photoshopped and made her look thinner. I think that was very good of her to do that. First of all, I've seen her candies before. Haven't we all seen <laughs> her candies? I mean, uh, we've all seen TMZ. Too much candies. But, Cheech, you know, are you turned on by those pictures? <laughs> uh, if you can do them without the head, yeah, sure. Do them without oh, the head. No, you oh, don't. Uh, what does that mean? It well, means she's a butterface. I'm not looking at her face. I'm not looking at her head. I'm looking at her body. She's a Monet. And I, and I can judge she's a Monet. That. Okay, maybe this topic will interest okay. you. Okay. I doubt it, though. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. All right. Um, some college students in California went digging through the trash yeah. and mm -hmm. found a copy of Sarah Palin's contract for a speaking engagement. Yeah. What do you think about uh, college kids digging up this? That's like uh, Wood Woodward and Bernstein, you know? They're on the uh, National yeah. Choir payroll. <laughs> it's amazing. They need, I mean, they need to make some money, but I saw where she's like, you know, she insists on having a black car drive her from events, right? No, an SUV. Who cares? But have she you has ever... to have a big plane. It has Hold to on. be a Learjet. Over here, Paul. Have you ever Sorry. done a college event, though? Like, a 19-year-old shows up in a little Fiat, right? <laughs> Without the floor missing in the car, and they bring you to the event. I yeah. would say... Look, she, she has legitimate things in her contract. Now, you know, I'm not a fan of hers, but she says that she... Totally. She 
wants to know the questions ahead of time. She's a performer. She's, yeah. she's not in politi uh, politics anymore. She wants the Q&A ahead of time so she can give her good answers. I don't mm -hmm. blame her for that. Do you? Mm -hmm. No. Well, All if right? she wants to be a politician and you're supposed to have the, like be able to work off the cuff, it's basically saying she can't have another Katie Couric moment of what kind of newspapers do you read? I don't know. Ex well, that's you possible. Know. But I mean, I don't think it's such a bad idea to get the questions. Then she says she wants a first-class flight from Anchorage. Well, who doesn't want a first-class flight from Anchorage? She's making 100 yeah. Gs every time she performs. Yeah. They can, they can yeah, cough sure. up a first-class. Yeah, would you go to a gig without a first-class no, flight? No, absolutely Would not. you? Actually, I'm, I think I'm it would... Uh, He's I'm cheating. cheating. <laughs> Well, he's I've gone in the, the steerage. I've gone before. I'm spirit because it's a $25 upgrade. <laughs> That's why. It's cheap. Okay, here's the, the straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah. During her speech, she said she must have two be bendable straws she must have. What? Now, why does she need ben bendable, bendable straws? I'll because if the, if the straw doesn't have the bend, you, there's a whole lot of this and it's going around the No, she wants two of them so that when she starts talking about Obama two. being the devil, she can be like, see, and use props. <laughs> it's very Glenn Beckian of her. I'll tell you, I, I have to say, this, this, this chick has made $12 million since July of 2009. Yeah. Hello? Where's the Kool-Aid? This I'm is why conservatives it. love her. She mm. knows how to make money, this woman. Yep. Yeah. No, right. this is why, but you know what's so funny? It's like she's made $12 million, she's got her health care, and if she doesn't, she goes to Canada for it mm -hmm. anyway. And so oh, I, always look at, I always look at people against health care. I'm like, look at who's telling you not to have health care. Mm -hmm. It's people making $12 million or $30 million, and they don't want their taxes, more taxes well, taken Well, I think out. that she went to Canada because it was not available where she was at that time. I don't yeah. know why I'm defending her today, <laughs> but <laughs> for some no. reason, I'm on her side today. And no, there she... were clinics. She went to Canada because they had full health care, and that's how they could Chief, do it. what do you want to say? Well, I, I don't know. I forgot by this time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you it, obviously weren't she, raised with women. I'm sorry. Was, she was the one that, I mean, she just she quit her day job. What can I say? She quit her day she job. She quit her day job in order to make twelve million dollars. Well, she wants to make money. I don't blame but the woman. Oh, so she she was elected to an office and allowed. quit in the middle of it. She yeah. quit her day job Anybody after she wasn't allowed to have it. perks anymore because yeah, they started yeah, going yeah, into yeah. all the stuff and the clothing that she didn't return. I know. She really she couldn't get a freebie. You guys, I want to thank you two for coming on. Hang in there, Cheech, because you're coming back a little later. Up next, a new study in Time magazine says spanking makes kids more aggressive. We'll debate the issue. Can't stop weeding? Then apply Preen for gardens. It